Hello, I'm Ella, the Editor-in-Chief of Alamode, and I'm here today with the cover star from the May edition, Penelope. Hi. So, how did you prepare for the day of the photo shoot? So, um, before every photo shoot, I always like to uh, hit gym five times a week, uh, like a couple of weeks prior to the photo shoot. I like to stay on a clean diet, no carbs at all, mostly green salads and green juices. I go to the bull, uh, Bulldog training gym with my fitness instructor to do some boxing, which is my favorite part of training because it's fun, it's active and you lose weight. So yeah, that's how I prepared. Okay, so when you found out that you'll be shooting for Alamode, how did you feel? Oh my god, so when I got the call from uh, my modelling agency, Elias Clark, I was absolutely shocked. Like, I just couldn't... It, it, it's been such a dream for me to shoot for Alamode. I mean, all of the big stars make their debut covers here, and when I found out, obviously, you were the editor-in-chief, I'm a big fan of yours. I just... I was so, so thrilled and honoured. This is like a dream come true. So what's been your favourite photo shoot today by far? My favourite photo shoot? I mean, every photo shoot is one I do cherish, especially this one, because it's such a dream to become a model. But my favourite photo shoot by far is probably Yves Saint Laurent in 2014, when I shot for him, because the set was amazing. We actually went to Antarctica to shoot, and it was very cold. Not gonna lie, it did get cold, but the whole set was absolutely gorgeous. Shooting in the wild life is um, just so amazing and fascinating. So what are your views on body image? So um, that's a very controversial topic. I feel like we live in a society where there is this vision of how a man and a woman should look like and if men and women don't look like that then they're not deemed beautiful or as beautiful. Now I don't agree with that at all. I feel like as long as you're happy with yourself, your body, the way you look, that's the most important thing, you know? And society is always going to have something to say about your body, whether it's good or bad, but it's up to you what you do about that. Your reaction is like controlled by you. Um, what's your favourite car brand? My favourite car brand is a Porsche. That's my dream car. I want to buy it one day. Uh, what's one hobby you like to do in your free time? Um, I like to do a lot of things, but I feel like lately I really have this eagerness to travel everywhere, especially because my job takes me places that I've never been to before and, you know, I, I'm very blessed I, and I never take it for granted, but yeah, travelling definitely right now. Uh, in your opinion, what does it take for one to become a model? Um, personally, I feel like if you love the camera, the camera will love you back. For me, that's how it works. You know, you need to play it up in front of the camera. Uh, you need to have confidence in yourself, first of all, because, you know, in today's society, more and more plus size models and women of color are coming into the industry. And in such a very, it's a very competitive industry. It's very harsh, I'm not gonna lie. You have to be ready for a lot of rejection, a lot of no's. So my advice is for like upcoming models, if you want to be a model, make sure you research into the industry very well and make sure that's what you want to do because you have a lot of setbacks. But as long as you believe in yourself, that's what's going to take you to victory. Uh, who is your celebrity crush? Men or women? Neither. Right, so, because I've got a lot, oh god, it's a list. So uh, for women, I'm going to say Emily Ratajkowski. She is my favourite, she's like a muse, such an inspiration. I love the way she poses, I love the way she acts, her aesthetic is very interesting and distinctive. So she, definitely she. And for men, James Franco, I'm like, I'm in love with him. I've been, like, I'm his biggest fan ever, I watch all of his films. I love him as a person, as an actor, as everything. So where do you see yourself in the future? In a recent interview you had a passion for acting, is that something you want to pursue in the future? Um, yeah, definitely. I mean acting is something I enjoy doing. It gives me an opportunity to, um, to really escape from who I am for a while and become someone else and make someone laugh or cry. And I think that's an incredible talent to have, to have that power over people, the ability to make them feel something. And that's very, that's very beautiful. So yeah, definitely I want to pursue it. But for now, I'm going to stick with modelling. Oh, thank you. It's lovely to have you here. Thank you. Thank you so much.